Can you explain uh, Jesus' okay. trajectory from 12 to 32 that we don't have in the Bible? Yeah. Like, so, what does that mean? So Jesus disappears from the Bible at the age of 12, right? Oh. right he disappears, and well, where does he go? There's oh, another wow. text yeah. called the Gospel of the Holy Twelve. And in the Gospel of the Holy Twelve, which was omitted from the Bible, he goes to Egypt with his mother. Now, I've been there, and when I take my tour, when I take people on tour, I take them to the place where he slept. It's still there. It's a crypt now. It's like a I've place to go there. You know where it's at, it's right? In, it's inside a church, right? Coptic Cairo. Correct. Yeah. Right yeah. inside that church. It converted into a church. And uh, he, he went there to study the Egyptian mysteries. He went there also to learn all about the ancient mystery schools. And then he left there and he went to Tibet to learn uh, the mystic art. No, no, he, Tibet, he went to go learn, uh, not mystic arts, but went to go learn spirituality. He went to Tibet. And mystic arts, yes, mystic arts. And then he went down into India, learned about reincarnation and all of that. And then he came back uh, down and he reappears in the biblical text when God says in the Bible, I call my son out of Egypt. <sighs> okay. Um, this is building up to a very specific uh, video yeah. that kind of mm -hmm. started all this. We'll get into it in a second, but if if people are listening to this dude, we're we're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> he we got a following. In trouble. He got a following. Yeah. He got like a. And I think the difference is his following was kind of like, um, like he he's almost kind of like the. Um, how can I say this? I don't want to mention the person's name, but he's almost like somebody who was kind of popular. It's still kind of popular, um, and he's more the guy I'm talking about is more like um, pro black, like you know calling out stuff, you know what I mean. But he has the kind of the same theology where he's talking about different things. But um, Billy, the difference is Billy is more open to everybody. Like mm. like the aliens is coming and they want everybody. They part oh is, is everybody. Yeah, yeah. It's the same. It's the same. Uh kind of trick that happened in the early church with the Gnostic Gospels and I think a lot of what he's talking about pulls from that of like this Christian mysticism that yeah. kind of came that um, a lot mm -hmm. of those books were excluded because they included things that were just fanciful people yeah. were just making up stuff right yeah. uh, saying that you know the, there was a guy whose neck stretched up to the heavens and it was kind of yeah. nonsense right so those were thrown out but their legacy is kind of living on yeah. and people are picking those things up and it's like ah secret knowledge but I mean the Bible specifically says people who brag about the secret knowledge are not of God right yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> it's plain as day what yeah. Jesus did it's, you can read exactly the story there's yeah. nothing else to it yeah. um, and, and people who like they're dying to have like this but you don't know about this and yeah. the, the man yeah. is trying to do this to you and all that kind of stuff is it's it's crazy that it's catching on right now yeah yeah and like you said i think earlier that especially in our community we've we feel like um we've been lied to for so long and oppressed for yeah. so long that when this stuff comes up we grab onto it because it's yeah. like i knew it i knew they yeah. were hiding stuff and from plus me. jesus is coming from egypt right you know right. what i mean so yeah. that's something i'll be like yo jesus went to egypt to learn mm -hmm. You know, the Mayad or he learned all this other stuff. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, yeah, he, they stole it from us. Yeah. That kind of yeah. attitude. Now, there, this is like a, a thing. There are like um, in Tibet, like these shrines of saying that Jesus was here, yeah. this and that. So this is not like he didn't make it up. Yeah. Um, so where do you think that stuff is coming from? I think, for one, like I think for one, during this time, Jesus was making tables and chairs because he was a carpenter. Mm -hmm. um, but I think what happens is... One thing the enemy does is so even the atheist has to admit that Jesus existed. That's low hanging fruit. We yeah. all know he existed. So yeah. what the enemy will do is try to implement certain things to tank the stories and the beliefs and things that we have of Jesus. So they'll start making up all these kind of stories or whatever to confuse people. Like it's other accounts where somebody was uh, like a dude named Water Jaw Boy in the Indian culture. He had 12 disciples and things of this nature. Then you have somebody from Egyptian culture. I forget the name. Herod or Horus I think it was Horus yeah. And Horus yeah. supposedly Had 12 disciples So people look at that And say well What's the difference Between Jesus and them They all had 12 disciples They all quote unquote Did good Did this and that Okay they're dead Jesus is still alive That's one And then two <laughs> if, if I'm the devil What would I do I would want to try To cause confusion So exactly. I would put All these things out here That are similar to Jesus So you can look and see It's no difference Okay 
But the fact of the matter is These things are things That's blinding you From the truth To make you feel like There's no separation Between these God Little G gods And the God And Christ mm -hmm. So that, I think that's what it is It's like It's always going to be A counterfeit A counterfeit yeah. always Looks like the real thing From a distance But when you yeah. do Close to examination You see what's real And what's not yeah. And I think people are so Like you were saying So hungry They want to do Whatever they want to do And find an excuse On why Jesus isn't real And God isn't real Because we're the only Really religion That challenges you to, to the degree that we do To self-denial Like mm -hmm. Muslim faith You got Ramadan And stuff like that But our whole faith Is based off of self-denial Pretty much denying your that's flesh mm -hmm. And that's not popular Nobody wants to do that So they're trying to find holes in it to be able to do what you want to do So if you say Okay you're no different than Horace You're no different than Water Jar Boy You're no different than this <laughs> Now You have no validity Behind what you're saying I can live and do Whatever I want to do And no. I think We just want to be free Do but what I, thou will But you know I, I think also too It makes It makes God It makes Jesus Look like He needs other gods To have the power that Right He's supposed he to have anyway fact, yeah. You know what I'm saying So it, it's showing like Well he had to study Egyptian mysticism Or he had to study Tibet He had to study These other stuff To get the power Like no Jesus you is know God You they're doing to him right they well, trying to they trying to Drake him. <laughs> like he went around grabbing other cultures and yeah, put it yeah, into yeah, his yeah. music, yeah. make his album hot. Yeah, the ghost ghost yeah, performer. That's, that's that's crazy. But it, it it dilutes the power of Christ. Mm -hmm. That's what it does. It makes you think. It well, makes you wonder. Yeah. yeah, it makes you wonder, and then also it makes you go, "Well, if Jesus had to go to Tibet or to Buddha to get power or Hinduism, then I need to go to New Age." I'm following him. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's nuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, so <laughs> this is gonna be a theme today. So so buckle up. Um, and again, I'm leading I'm leading y'all up to one specific video that I think started a lot of this, especially in our community. But um, D1 was on Math Alpha. Yeah. And t tell tell them a little bit about Math Alpha. I'm not super familiar with him. Math Alpha is a battle rapper. Um, he knows honestly. He knows um, the Four Horsemen. Okay. He knows all of them. Um, but he started off. Um, of course, battling in um, New York, and he got with Smack, if you know the battle coach Smack URL. Mm -hmm. And then um, he started a show that he was trying to do for battle rappers, and um, kind of like a barbershop talk talk show. And it didn't turn out, because kind of the battle rappers kind of hating on him. And then he started talking to hip hoppers, and he started talking to different people and other people. But he's now it's more for the culture of hip hop than it was just battle rap culture. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. culture. All right, um, real quick, let's let's do uh, the poll Crispy put up. Holy BBL. Uh, what do you think of Howard's theology? Said um, he off purposely for comfort, man. I don't know what that means. That's him talking. He like, off purposely oh, for comfort, man. Oh, God. okay. <laughs> he genuinely believes what he says. So forty percent for the first one, thirty three percent for the second one. Don't agree, but I get what he means. Twenty three percent, and I agree three percent. So three percent of y'all agree with Terrence Howard. Mm. Okay. Well, all right. Came to the right place. Welcome. 